Okay. So today what I want to talk about is in Dropbox, if you only want to sync some but not all of your Dropbox folders to your laptop, how can you make that happen? Uh, for today, what I want to go over is um, Selective Sync. And to get the Selective Sync uh, in Dropbox, uh, you have to go down to the lower right-hand corner in the taskbar area down there. Uh, this is for Windows users. Um, if you don't already see a Dropbox icon down here, you're going to click that uh, carrot, chevron, whatever it's called, and look for the Dropbox icon. Once you're there, you're going to left-click. Now, I'm going to gray out a lot of the boxes that are there because it's client uh, information that I'm, we're dealing with. Now, but you'll be able to see all your uh, recently changed files and some of the files that are currently syncing and, and folders that you've been invited to. Um, in the upper right hand corner of that box is uh, a gear icon. Click on that and select preferences. Now from the preferences pane uh, you'll get a uh, pop-up window and select account. From there, you have the option for Selective Sync. We're going to click on that, and that's going to give us another pop-up. And there, uh, a list will populate of your Dropbox folders. Again, I'm graying mine out, except for you know the top one here. Now, let's say this top one is something that's either from a, a matter that's been closed but not yet archived or contains reference material that I might not need on every computer that I work on, uh, but something that I still want to keep in Dropbox. Uh, I can uncheck that and then hit update. And now Dropbox is gonna give me a little bit of a warning. It says unchecked folders will be removed from this computer's Dropbox, but they'll be available on the web. So like in the cloud, they're still there and on other devices like your phone, iPads, other computers that you're um, logged into. Hit okay. And once I close down that box, if I open up a, a Windows Explorer or a File Explorer, I'll go to my Dropbox folder and I'll see that it's not there at the top. If for whatever reason I want to start re-syncing that file, then what I can do is I can uh, go back in the lower right hand corner, left click on that Dropbox icon, click on the preferences from the gear uh, option, go to account, selective sync, and then I can recheck that box. Once I recheck it, then it tells me that Dropbox on this computer will be updated with your changes. Okay, okay, now if I go back to that same file explorer window, go to Dropbox, now I can see that it's there uh, at the top. And so what it's letting you do is, depending on which computer you're working on, so you might have your main like work computer at your desk in your office, you might have a trial laptop, or you might have um, another laptop that you're bringing if you're traveling to a deposition or something like that. And you might not want to spend the time or the space, let's say if you have only a 256 gig SSD, you might want to spend the time or space to download and sync all those files. So if you know you only need to download and sync a handful of folders, you can go ahead and do that. And so um, the benefit of that is you can control what goes on an individual computer without affecting your broader Dropbox file and more importantly without affecting what is happening in other people's Dropbox folders that you might be sharing that account or those folders with. So that's Selective Sync in a nutshell. If you have any other questions feel free to leave it in the comments. I'll also post step-by-step uh, -step instructions in the description below so if you don't see them hit the show more button and those instructions will appear. And that's it for Selective Sync. I, like I said, it was going to be pretty short. Um, feel free to look at the other videos for other how-tos, tips, and tricks. And if there's anything else that you want to see, let me know again in the comments, and I can uh, respond. And thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.